Hey guys, we're back in Portland, Oregon at Simply Home Community. And this time we're going to take you on a tour of Karen's tiny house, Serenity. Hey. Hello. Welcome to Serenity. Thank you. Tell me about the size of your tiny house. So she's 20 feet by 8, uh, like, you know, the standard width. I always knew I wanted to do a 20 by 8, although now that I've lived in her for a while, I probably could have gone a little smaller. I'm one person. I never planned to build this for me and someone else to live in. And frankly, you know, I've got a little ballroom here. <laughs> right, yeah, you got plenty of space, it feels like, because you yeah. actually built out over the wheel wells, right? I did, yep. I moved to Portland to go to medical school. I sold my house in North Carolina and I had about $50,000 from the sale of my house and I knew I wanted to put that toward a house someday. And then when it got time to put that down as a down payment, I was like, you know, $50,000 on a house is nothing in Portland. Uh, my mortgage would have been out the roof and I just uh, decided that wasn't the route for me and started thinking, well, what will I do? Will I leave Portland? I really didn't want to leave. And then one day, you know, here's the famous story that everybody says. I turned on the television and there, or uh, opened my computer and there was Jay Schaefer on yeah. the Yahoo interview. And I was like, that's it! That's what I want to do. So I started in September of 2012. And I finished, I called it finished in September of 2013. No tiny house is ever really finished. Yeah. <laughs> and mine certainly isn't. There's lots of things that I still haven't done. So I just can't quite figure out what I want to do with them. This is my uh, my living room. I really wanted it to be as comfortable as possible. I've seen and been in tiny houses that have a little bench with a window and I find them really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I bought this couch probably a year before I started building. It was for the fencil design. Yeah. So the op that my door was going to be here. There was this was going to be that little bump out and I measured and I talked to the guy and I go, "Are you sure you're sure it's the right?" <laughs> and he said, "Yes, it'll fit." Uh, and then I didn't build that design, um, but I knew I wanted something really comfortable and I also knew I wanted something that I could have uh, a guest on. Mm -hmm. So this is a futon. I keep my spare pillow over here uh, so it folds out and that pillow goes on the end and it's a bed. This is something I made one evening when I was feeling, I don't know, creative. I had some batting, I'd made some pillows and I had some extra and I made this little support here lightning bolt shaped. Uh, and so I stuck a little light up under there. It's like one of those little flickering <laughs> yeah, it's candles. Yeah, flicker candle, yeah. yeah. And so at night when I um, go to bed, I, it's up there and it just flickers away. It looks like a little lightning cloud. I love it. Mm -hmm. This window I got at the Rebuilding Center for $12. It was one of those amazing finds. I had a tiny little window planned for there and found it and just took it home and cut all of my framing out and put in new window framing. and. That was when I started thinking, wow, I, I kind of am figuring this out. You can design as you go. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, is this your closet? This is my closet. Yep. I don't, I've never been much of a clothes person, really. So um, this is more than enough space for me. I have all my season, whatever season it is in there. And I store the other season up on top of, in the loft. Um, mm -hmm. So it works really well for me. Most people come in, especially women, come in here and go, what? How do you possibly have all your clothes in there? <laughs> Everybody seems to love my stairs. It was the last thing I built, so I felt like by the time I built them, I knew much more about what I was doing. The thing I love most about them is that they are not solid, so I get a lot of light through. And I don't have a lot of chachis, but the ones that I do have, I love a lot, and I want to be able to look at them, so I see them every day when I get up and when I go to bed. I was running out of money by the time I got to the kitchen for big things like cabinets. I knew I didn't want to build cabinets because this is so much work. So I couldn't find what I loved that I could afford. So I went to Ikea and got the cheapest cabinets I could find mm -hmm. uh, with the intention of eventually replacing them. Um, and you know, they serve the function, they're not very attractive, but they hold everything I need and I actually have more space than I need. Um, worked out to have my little stove underneath. Is that a toaster oven or? It is, yes, yeah, a little, little uh, convection oven mm -hmm. and it cooks almost everything. Uh, being in the community I have the big kitchen if I want to cook something big uh, but I al almost always cook down here. I don't have a lot of stuff frankly. I, I really pared down to just exactly what I needed. As you can see I have one hook too many. <laughs> 
because <laughs> I broke a cup. Here is my shower to be. It is totally plumbed, and the only thing that hasn't been done is the drain hasn't been put through. I have a shower at my clinic, uh, which is about a mile and a half down the road. There's a shower in the big house. Uh, I just don't, I've never felt like I really needed it. And then my loo is mine and Jujubee's. We split it. <laughs> her, her litter box is on the left and my litter box is on the right. I must say, it's a beautiful loo. There's my, my dining room table in my big house. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I really like that table. How can I use it? Mm -hmm. So I built that thing. I did a 10, 12 pitch on my roof so that I could have slightly more room in my loft gives me about a six, eight inch uh, knee wall on the side. And as you can see, you know, when I'm sitting here in the middle, I have quite a bit of room that I can sit up here. I never feel like I'm uh, crowded out up here. I think you have more skylights than any other tiny house we've seen, three. Yeah, three, t three skylights is too many. Really? Yes. <laughs> First of all, they're really hard to put in. And um, putting the flashing around them was, I thought I was going to die. It was such a pain. And I cut myself so many times. Uh, and secondly, I put two of them on my south roof, which was just the opposite of what I wanted to do. I don't know how I got so confused. I wanted to put this one on this side, on my north side. Um, and if I'd had just one on that side, it would have been okay, but two, the sun pours in in the summertime and it gets hot. That's probably the only mistake that I really regret. The rest of them I'm like, well, whatever, I can live with it, but this one I wish I could do over. I have two round, half-domed windows that face out, so mm. the domes like go out into the outside. They look like little eyeballs. Oh, cool. Uh, they're called pet peaks. I was going to say, I bet your cat loves that, She right? does, yeah. She's Every morning when I wake up, she's lying in there looking at the birds. And they're not at all designed to be in a house. They're meant to go in a fence at dog level, so dogs can look out of the fence and see what's going on outside. But I knew I wanted little round porthole-like windows, and, and uh, porthole windows are incredibly expensive, like thousands of dollars. So I found these, which were, you know, like, I don't know, I think I paid $100 for both of them, probably less, uh, and put them in. It took a lot of um, reverse engineering to make it all work with insulation, um, and they're totally not at all uh, insulating. I mean, it's a thin sheet of plastic. Right. <laughs> but I don't care. I love them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's the beauty of building your own house. That's it. Yeah. Bend the rules. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... I noticed that it's a different color than the last time. Yes, yeah, that was, um, you know, I had a, it's so funny, this should come up, I had a uh, radio interview way back when I was just starting. I mean, my kitchen wasn't even close to finished. And the girl, the very first thing that they had me saying was, yes, I'm going to paint my house periwinkle. And that was three years ago. Uh, you can see that um, on the gable wall there, that golden yellow, that was the first color when I lived down the street because it matched the house there. And then when we moved here, I painted it yellow because it's the same yellow as the big house. Uh, and I didn't want to do that either time. Yeah. It was suggested to me by both of the people where I lived. Now we're like, whatever, we're not blending. Yeah. <laughs> and so I finally got to paint her periwinkle. Yeah. You named the house Serenity. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about why you named it that way? Yeah, I'd be happy to. I'm. Uh, completely addicted to Firefly. It's a television series uh, put on by Joss Whedon and the starship in that film uh, in the show is called Serenity and I love the dual meaning of it because it does, I'm totally a, a geek from the get-go. I mean I was raised on Star Trek but it's also of course the concept that I'm coming home to Serenity. It's like it couldn't be any more perfect. When I first started to build I was going through a really, really rough time in my life, um, feeling completely not empowered by uh, my, the circumstances that I was in and feeling like a pretty much a failure um, in relation to my medicine that I was learning and my partner who was very, very sick. It was just a really uh, de debilita mentally debilitating time for me. Um, and I, as I was building, I was consciously trying to re-empower myself through this act of building my house and uh, being creating exactly the space I wanted for myself. So it really is. I mean, the space is exactly the way I want it in every way. I think I can't, you know, there's a little trim I still have to do, but other than that, it's, 
it's perfect. And I, you know, I know that when I'm at home, I can feel completely at ease and in myself. My bills are minute. You know, living here in this community where we created this in such a way that none of us would be financially burdened. Uh, and it's been a, such a wonderful experience in, in that way too. My favorite part of living here really is that I have my doors open almost all the time. My role in the community is taking care of the garden for, mm -hmm. for the most part, which for me is all of the outdoors. And uh, you know, so I totally consider this part of my house. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And what a beautiful garden it is. Thanks. We actually have a full tour of Simply Home Community and we have another tour with Lina, another tiny house here on the property. So if you're interested in learning more about this tiny home community, there's plenty of resources. Yeah. And thank you so much for my taking pleasure. us through it. It was beautiful to see Serenity. Thank you. And maybe next time when we come in another six months, she'll be rainbow or it another could be. color altogether. <laughs> Who knows? Very easily. Yeah. <laughs>